And of course, it's always seemed to me that uh, there's often a direct link between the wine trade and the art trade. The luxury trade. That's something that actually I'm hating about the art world at the moment. We are now thought to be a luxury business. When in fact, if you talk to artists, we are the only way they can express themselves. So I think we are being undersold, as it were. We are not a luxury trade. We are just like being a writer or an actor. We are part of the arts. And I think we should remember that. And do you think Sydney, in that sense, in recent times, has, has changed in the way the, uh, the gallery sort of sector um, has set itself up? I mean, it certainly used to be a very sort of varied, a varied setup, a varied uh, sector with lots and lots of galleries catering to different tastes, different people. Do, do you feel that has changed? Or I think it has changed, and I think partly it's been changed by the big institutions. In the 19th century, early half of the 20th century, institutions were provincial. Australian institutions showed Australian art. Brazilian institutions showed Brazilian art. Now everybody has a Kiefer. Most museums have a Freud and probably have a Hockney too. So we have been internationalised, and so Sydney is, if not importing the international artists, we're certainly importing the international look. And I think that is actually driven not by the galleries themselves, but by the clients. We now don't do what we think would be interesting to do, we do what we think will sell. And that is one of the great sadnesses in my attitude to the art world generally at the moment.